Hey guys, Jeremy here again, and uh, it's been way too long since we've done uh, anything with the hashtag Rudiment of the Week project. Well, I'm back, and I'm here to teach you guys the 10 stroke roll today. It's very, very simple. But if you guys remember the poll that we did last time, which was forever ago, uh, the 10 stroke and the slam accents won uh, tied. And then we did a tiebreaker, and the slam accents narrowly won. So now I'm here to teach the 10 stroke. Before we get started, let's re let me remind you what the Rudiment of the Week project is. It's not for me to show off how great I am at rudiments, because I'm not the best. This started because I wanted to practice rudiments in some sort of methodical way. I wanted to sit down at the kid and go, okay, what rudiment am I going to work on today? And I was like, what if I focus on it for a whole week? Hmm. That started seeing great benefits out of that. So what I wanted to do is bring those benefits to you. Just a week. Now, I understand that if these are new to you, you're going to need more than a week. That's okay. You can. These are on YouTube. They're permanent, at least until you, as long as YouTube exists. So you can recall and reference them anytime you want. But make sure that uh, you just focus on them for a little bit and get them into your playing. And try to focus on them every day for seven whole days. Right? That's the goal. And if you get better, cool. If you're exposed to something you... Uh, you didn't know, that's great. That's It's just a little, 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 little better every time you play them, and it's supposed to give you new vocabulary. That's my goal. So let's get into it. The 10 stroke roll. Now, the 10 stroke roll is kind of tricky. There's two ways I'm gonna teach it. 16th note version and a triplet version. Now, the 16th note version is where we're gonna start, and if you don't know the nine stroke roll, pause the video, look at the time down here, whatever it says, and remember that go watch my nine stroke roll video because you're going to need to know how to do that. And the 10 stroke is the nine stroke with two accents. That's all it is. It's very, very simple. So here we go. 16th note version is just going to, you're going to stick it right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left. Now notice, right, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right? Very quiet, very easy, and then two big accents, right? Right, 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 left, left, right, left. And do it off left, 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 right, right, left, left, right, right. Piece of cake. Now the counting is tricky because it's sixteenth note based, right? Because most of our roll rudiments seem to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this one e and uh two e and uh one e and uh two e and uh one e and uh two e and uh one e and uh two e and uh. That's the sixteenth note. If you guys have questions, get creative with that. Do whatever you want with it. Take it exactly like that but that's that's what it is on the poster right now if you got the vic for the poster or the pdf rudiment sometimes these rudiments are daunting and that one's a little tricky it's like, why what so check it out go get your pdf uh of the rudiment sheet and and get really good with them so then the other version is the triplet version now the triplet version i think is way more applicable it's more interesting to me it's great for jazz it's whatever so here's all that all we're gonna do we're gonna take two triplets uh Eighth note triplets. One la li, two la li. We're gonna accent the first and the last. One la li, two la li. I'm gonna start over. One la li, two la li. One la li, two la li. One la li, two la li. One. And we're gonna diddle everything in between. One la li, two la li. One la li, two la li. One. Piece of cake, right? Now, what you get when you play that a little faster. Kind of this rounded, flowy accent pattern with rolls. It's very simple, it's not hard, but it does take a little bit of coordination. I recommend tapping the foot and maybe creating an exercise. One of my one of the exercises that I, I worked on just to kind of understand how this, this works into um, a four-four pattern was play a measure of triplets, just one lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly. Right? And do that over and over again with a metronome, which we aren't using today. But that's all these this ten stroke rudiment is. It's very simple. Now your job is to go to Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and Facebook, post videos and be coming up with some whack way to play this, right? You know? Whatever. Any ways you want to play this. Get creative. Go to your drum set. Go to your, I mean, if you want to play it on a, a marimba or a timpani or a snare drum or on the ground or on your friend's head, it doesn't matter. Get creative. Get weird. Get interesting. Have fun, right? That's the best thing is we can have fun with these. Even though they're kind of like scholarly and, 
and they seem like nerdy when people play rudiments, but you know, they, they help. There's a reason you do this stuff. So, uh, I want to close by mentioning that I am on Periscope almost every day this summer. So make sure that you check that out. You can find me at Jeremy A. Bailey, spelled just like my YouTube channel, J-E-R-O-M-Y-A-B-A-I-L-E-Y. You can find that. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook at the same same username, Jeremy A. Bailey, J-E-R-O-M-Y-A-B-A-I-L-E-Y. -A 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 um, if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to find me, leave it in the comments down here on YouTube. Hit me up on Snapchat. I, I'm real quick to respond on Snapchat. Let me know if I can help you in any, any way. Lastly, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I want you guys to be inspired by learning a new rudiment. And then share this with other drummers who need this. You know, if you got a friend whose hands aren't, aren't like hacking it, send him my videos. I will fix him. I promise. Anyways, until next time, it's good to be back and I will see you guys later. Take care.